What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another video. So we have the weekend tournament in FIFA Mobile. Now, there's a few issues uh, with getting into the weekend tournament. That happens. I found moving my players around, switching my active lineup to a new lineup and back uh, will help you get into that. Also, uh, for people who are like, well, how do I get a squad? Do I have to buy a squad from the market? No, you get a squad automatically when you go into the match. So as soon as you select head-to-head -head or burst attack, that's what you're going to get. Now, once you've selected one of them, that's what you have to stick with for the weekend. Uh, so put a lot of thought behind it of what you're doing. And we do have a chemistry uh, cap and a 90 overall cap in this one, which has made it kind of fun to build up squads and head-to-head. -head. I've heard there's a bit of an issue in burst attack that people are able to go above the chemistry limit. So maybe be careful if you're going in burst attack there. Um, but I do really like this. I see a lot of potential in this weekend tournament to be a very, very fun uh, long-term thing moving forward as well, building out different squads um, that you can really just play even with the base squads that you have, at least in head-to-head. -head. It might be a little bit different in the burst attack side of things, um, but at least in head-to-head, -head, we can kind of play with the squad we have. We get to try out different cards. We're looking for more budget cards that we have. Um, because you can really only have a couple elites on the team. You can't really level your cards very much. If you have high skill boost, you have to have a lot of cards that play out of position. So you're looking for mids that have the capability of being a striker. You're still looking for cards to stop the cross spammers, all those things as well. Uh, one of the things that I really will point out with this though is that the squad building here has a lot to do with your sort of strategy and your ideas of how you want to build out the perfect squad in game. Um, so for us, I really love being able to move the ball around, dribble the ball, pass the ball. Uh, I don't care as much about the players finishing. I still want to be able to finish the ball, um, but I like to get myself into like a position where it's like you can't miss it, right? You're like right outside the net. You're not missing it no matter what. Um, so that's kind of built my play for my strikers. For my midfields, you know, having some good defensive players, but also um, some good ability to move the ball around, good passing, those kind of things as well. Um, and then on defense, really looking for players that have some pace, but also some strength um, so that if people are trying to go over the top, we can still fight them off for the ball. We can still catch up if they're trying to do that. If they're crossing it in, um, if they're getting corners, we still have that ability to block corners. And it's not like, okay, corners like a 50-50 every single time, like putting yourself with a bit of an advantage there. Um, so I'm interested to know, how are you building out your squad, especially if you're building out a head-to-head -head squad? What are your strategies for doing this uh, to ensure the maximum amount of success with this um, as we go into it? We'll check out our squad right here and we'll show you what we've done. All right, so we got our squad up in front of us. Uh, this squad probably cost us about five, six million coins. Uh, I think you could definitely get it for cheaper. Uh, some of the cards, we ended up packing old black and that got us 30 million coins. So we kind of splurged a little bit on some of these ones. Uh, my big one here is probably this Vinicius card. Although one of my most expensive cards was this card right here. Uh, but for a right mid, um, he's absolutely beast in the stats. He's got great work rate, high attack, medium defensive, uh, 101 excel, 97 sprint speed without skill boost, 85 dribbling, 86 ball control, 90 agility, um, and he's got some decent strength. He's got 70 strength, he's got 81 jumping, 78 balance, um, so he's a nice card to have there, and he can finish okay. Like, he's got 75 finishing, but again, like I say, I like to just move myself into a good position um, right out front of the net, you know, kind of ensure my goals there, so he's definitely what I want to see out of a card there, um, and he's got pretty good weak foot rating as well, um, and then Ayu on the other side, this is another really great pickup, I think, for me. 79 overall, uh, but he's a right mid card, and what I did is when I looked at my cards for my strikers I looked for right mid cards that had good pace but also had good ability to pass the ball, good ability to finish it, kind of good all around cards for there. Um, but mainly when I looked at it is I wanted a card that could be fast enough to do some damage, but also really good ball control, really good dribbling, really good uh, reactions. So you can see here, 87, 87, 94, 84, um, and also good strength as well with the 70 strength, because this really allowed me to kind of move the ball around, play into the middle and on all those things as well. So that's kind of what my strategy was uh, going with my strikers there. Vinicius here, he was my biggest one um, that I kind of picked up and, and, and went with, as I said. He's got high attacking work rate, he's got four star weak foot, um, and he's got great pace, he's got excellent dribbling, excellent agility. Um, he's sort of my playmaker in the middle. He has really good short passing, so what I found is he can be that person, he plays excellent in the cam position because what he's doing is he's just, he's controlling the play. He's moving the ball around, he's finding some space, he's finding some movement for my players on striker. Um, so when I can feed the ball to him, he's basically just that playmaker for me, which I really liked having him there. Um, my right mid card, um, when I looked at my mids, my strikers, my strategy for strikers uh, playing in the mid position uh, was find fast players and find players that A, had good ball control, but also could pass. He's got 85 short, uh, he's got 86 dribbling, he's got 89 agility, so he can move the ball around, he can pass it, um, and he can shoot it too. So if he gets into a position where he's shooting it from the outside, and this is where you're mainly going to have these players uh, doing those finesses from the outside of the box, that's why I put this card 
um, on the squad as well. It's a pretty good card, but also could be a great card in Striker. And that's the thing is, I have 17 on most of my skill boosts. Um, so for me, I pretty much have to play cards out of position or I'm going to run into trouble. So if you have lower skill boosts, if you're starting out, if you're newer to the game, you may actually be able to get away with putting a few more players in position. But for me, I'd rather more overall good stats in a lot of these cards than the, than having boosts in certain areas. The only one where I went away from that a little bit was in my defenders because the defenders usually boost the specific stats that I want. I have a more wide uh, variety of stats than I'm looking for in my midfield and my strikers, whereas my defenders, it's like, I want them to be able to mark, I want them to be able to you know be aggressive in those things and so I can find skill boosts that work for that and keep them in there and there's probably three or four players you can have with the right skill boost um, you also have to make sure that you don't have any elite players back to back so in this first round you're not gonna see because see that goes up to 80 cam so we're not gonna be able to play the match um, so in the first round what you're gonna see is you're gonna see a lot of gold silver you know players in squads maybe a few elite players but you're not gonna see an overwhelmingly large amount of elite players which is gonna be really helpful and, and you're not gonna see like you're gonna see no masters so no card is going to be way better than the other ones. And that's where, uh, you know, building a team around your strategy and your gameplay is going to be really important when you want to find success uh, with this weekend tournament. And that's the thing I really like about it is, you know, you get to build out a squad that is, you know, fits your play style. And, and fits the ability of, of you doing that because you have this cap of 90 overall. Uh, my right back, uh, or my left back, I guess, but the right back that's playing in that position, uh, I went for some good pace um, and I wanted some good uh, work rate as well, but mainly I wanted to have a, a card that could chase down uh, the players if they tried to go out to the outside, but also had some decent uh, standing and sliding tackling um, so that if it came down to it, I, I could play with, uh, you know, I could, I could stop them from, uh, you know, putting in the crosses or, or beating me on that one. Uh, my center backs, these were the big ones I went with. Um, the biggest reason I went with them, 103 standing, 99 heading, 117 strength, 100 jumping, uh, 89 aggression, 92 interceptions. He's a bit slower, but still 76-77 for a, uh, a defender at this time in the weekend tournament promo is actually really good. Um, so I, that's a card that I'm really excited to have on the squad. Uh, he definitely is going to be helpful and definitely in the games that I played has been helpful in controlling that defense for me. My other strategy is taking CDMs and this was a really good CDM card that I found with good marking, good standing, good sliding great aggression 103 aggression great strength great jumping um to help me control that midfield uh or to help me control that defender uh and he doesn't have any skill boost uh comparatively so he's 13 you lose like five levels of skill boost putting him as a defender um I could also put him into the right back position and he would, but he actually gains a skill boost when I put him out to right back. Um, you know, and you could change around your formations if you're looking at that as well too. Uh, and then Hermoso, this is a card I actually really liked in uh, when I was playing in other games as well, but I kind of put him in there because he's got good speed, uh, but he's also got great understanding, 102 sliding, 99 interceptions, 101 aggression, 84 strength and 97 jumping. Um, I would love to be able to move him as another center back, but I could kind of only put one of them because of the chemistry issue. Uh, so for now, he's just sticking in that uh, that right back spot for me. Um, and then again, if we're looking at our uh, midfield, I just kind of picked players that were lower in OBR, but still good stats. 92 strength, 94 aggression, uh, 89 jumping. Uh, so he can play kind of defensively for me. Um, you know, he's got some okay pace. So if I need him for crosses or like to, to block crosses, corners, those things, he can be in there for me as well and help me out with that um, but I wasn't too concerned about my midfield position I focused mainly on my strikers and my defenders when I was going except for that cam position and the formation 4 one 2 one 2 wide it's the formation using all season my favorite head-to-head -head formation um, again good speed for uh, for the outside you know he's got some decent uh, ability to find you know finishing so if he does have to take a shot he's gonna be okay with that uh, he's got good agility and dribbling you know a good relative obviously to what we have in the stats right now um, so that's the squad that we have for my keeper. I really just picked up any, well, I just kept the keeper I had from the start. Um, but I really just wanted one that had kind of a lower skill boost for me because that's one you can't put out of position. So you really want to kind of lower the impact that they're going to have because most keepers don't have a big difference from one keeper to the next at this point when you have a 90 overall team that you're going. So again, yeah, my some of my top cards, I think this was probably my most expensive card on the squad, um, but I really like it. I think it was like 2 million coins or something like that. But look at that acceleration. Speed. Uh, and when I'm able to level him up in future matches, I think he's going to really help us out. 
um, in that regard as well. And then his boost too, so if I actually put him in position, um, he's got a boost to finishing, dribbling, long passing, uh, sprint speed as well. So he's going to be an even, even better card when I move him out of position. Uh, and this Campbell is a good choice, I think, as well. Uh, could also be a great striker card for you, because if he's in position, he gets long shot, shot power, volley positioning, and finishing, which is something that he's lacking. And then obviously this card, uh, great card to have. So that's the squad we have. Uh, we'll do some gameplay. We'll show you some gameplay with this squad as we go through it. But let me know how you're building out your squad. What are your strategies for this? Uh, what do you think about this weekend tournament? I'm really excited to see the future of this weekend tournament, how they build out. Some new rewards would be nice. Um, although I say that after packing back-to-back -back Masters. Right, so we got our squad, 85. So a good yes, squad we're going up against. Um, we'll see what happens in this next one uh, as we begin this match here. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how they play in games. So obviously, we have a bit of an OVR advantage um, in this one with our squad as we start this off. But what I really liked, I played one game with them before, just kind of test it out, you know, make sure I was doing it. But I love to see the strength on some of our attackers, uh, the ability to move the ball around. And you can see nice, quick, short ball movements, uh, getting into that position. We have this card here that's just like, he's got great dribbling, great ball control uh, that allows him to sort of move into those positions and really control uh, that central attacking mid position. And that's the biggest thing that you want to look at is making sure that when you're doing this, the cards that you have, that are out of position can still play like the cards uh, that you need to, especially if you have a uh, high skill boost. And, and if you don't have the same skill boost as us, uh, you know, you can obviously put some cards that are more cards that are in position, those kind of things as well. Uh, but we have 17 skill boosts. So on most of our skill boosts, we have plus 17 overall. Offside, offside. How was that not offside? Okay, thank you. I'm like, uh, he was nowhere near a single person. Good play out to the outside. Nice little ball up. Good little touch there. Good little ball through. And you can see he's on it. Will he score? That's the question. And that's where you need a player that's got better finishing than that. Uh, but uh, again, that's where I think that when you're looking at it is you got to get into the better position. It's kind of the thing I like a little bit about it too is that you really do need to be in that position. Um, so we did draw the foul there. So that will be helpful. We go into the middle. Big header. Big header. And a big save. Rebound header. Oh my goodness, we just took an own goal right there. Hey, that was, <laughs> I'll take that. A okay, nice play back out, good play to get in there. He's got his man running through. Oh, uh, tried to feed that ball. I probably could have just ran with him, but I wanted to kind of pass the ball around a bit. Watch the cross, watch the cross coming in. Uh, that's unfortunate. Giving up the corner was not ideal, but. Big save, oh. The bounces really hit you in this game. Get that header. Get that header. Big play right there. Oh, yes. It's so funny. It's like the bad bounces that are winning for us right now. But on both sides. Nice little control there. Good block in the middle. Going over the top. But a nice little clearance there. And that was from the CDM too, eh? That's the nice thing outside. Nice little play to get there. Oh, man. He's going to pass it to himself. He's going to pass it to himself. And he's still going to get on it. Big shot. Big finish. See, but I, like I say, like I love having these players, and and for me, I'm a I'm a lot about ball control. I'm about moving the ball, doing quick ball moving stuff, and so having players that are good, even if they're not as good at shooting, I like a player that's got good ball control and so and good dribbling. So again, it's when you're looking at this, you want to look at it in terms of the players that that fit for the squad that you want to build. So when you're trying to build your squad, uh, think of how you want to build your squad. I have these players on defense that can help me uh, to stop them from you know going over the top, and then when I go attacking, I want some players that have some. Defense speed but as well as the decent speed you know they have the other stats that they need as well so good little defensive play there I'm gonna give up a penalty shot I think no yep penalty shot okay Dave 90th minute though luckily the penalty shot is not enough to lose us the game as we still have our uh, lead in this one and I think we should probably be able to uh, Hang on for one more goal here as we go try and bring this up with Vinicius oh he's got the rainbow flick too oh my goodness I didn't know the secondary skill moves the rainbow flick. So big win there in our weekend tournament match. Um, but as I said, how are you building out your squad though? What are you doing to build out your squad? Are you trying to put together a squad, uh, you know, that's very ba based on speed, based on skill, uh, those things as well. But it's kind of one of the things I really like about this is it sort of depends on the play type that you have and the play type that you want to go with uh, once you get in there. So we're gonna do one of these uh, weekend tournament packs, I think, just for fun. We'll do another of the, we'll do the 80 plus pack. Uh, so for 70 points here, we're gonna do an 80 plus pack to see what we get in our next weekend tournament pack here. Purple, no, but we do get ourselves Mendez right mid card. Let's see the stats. Oh, he's actually got some good stats too. 
He might be a card that I want to put on my team. Oh my goodness. If I can fit this card into my squad without going OBR, um, I think we just found a new uh, right mid for the team. Okay, moving this ball up. Here we go. Campbell, the player you want there. He taps it up. Fake shots it. Oh, he got denied. Denied right there. Good move. Okay, watch this. Beautiful ball. He gets past him. He's got some pace. He's also got a decent shot. We'll get a free kick nonetheless. Oh, come on. You gotta give me a free kick there. I got the free. I guess I got the shot off. Okay, that definitely's gotta be a free kick. I'm like, you gotta give me a free kick. Yep, let's go. Gotta get a free kick. Gets it up. One, two. Let's go through the... Yeah, let's go, 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 go. Maybe we need a little bit more pace there. But the nice thing is, is that he's basically just uh, giving us free kicks. He's earning us some free kicks at least. Big header. And back to him. Yes, and he was on. He was on. Get the finesse. It's in. Oh, yeah. We got him back. We got him back. Let's go. Good little play there to get that in 80th minute. Would have been a penalty shot if he didn't score. Now he's got to be careful. Okay, here we go. Vinicius, nice play out there. Good little play, but uh, loses it. Be careful. Be careful. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go, folks. This is the squad to test it again. Get there. Get there. Nice little play. Oh, no. I should have just kept going. Get it, get it, get it. What a play. I actually really like this card. Oh, man. Get the rebound. Oh, he put the rebound wide. Nice play there. Nice play there. Okay, here we go. Got good dribbling. Oh, he's taken down. I don't know why I didn't just cross him back. I think I probably shouldn't be playing this person nicely since they don't play back nice. Good goal. That's the rebound I needed. We came him back. I ain't losing this. Come on, Campbell. Stay on it. And he's got decent shooting, so we might be able to get something. Okay, I'll take a corner. I'll take a corner. Big header. Big header. Win it. Rebound it. Oh, my goodness. Campbell. What a legend. That was a big goal. Nice, Kate. Nice-ish. The problem is they're going to get a corner off it. What's the highest uh, win streak you've gone on and how many points do you get for it? One more out. One more out. Oh, no. He tried to feed him. I didn't mean to thread it. I wanted to go out to the outside to him, but he went with it. Great play there. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Get the ball up. Oh, wide. We're getting some opportunities. We'll see if it caps. It was 36, I think. 40 it keeps going. I'm not going to get to find out until tomorrow um, how much we get, but so far on a 40, but I'm interested. What's the highest that you've had out of this? Come on, purple. No, but we do get Vitolo. Oh, Vitolo is a good card too, actually. Uh, look at that pace. 104, uh, 99 long pass, 88 short, 98 crossing. Uh, he's a pretty decent card. Um, but anyways, that's the squad we got. So again, how are you building your squad? What are your tips? What are your strategies for building out your squad to make sure you get the victories in a weekend tournament? Um, I'm having a lot of fun building this out. I look forward to seeing you next week as we show you the updates to our squad. Uh, we're also going to play through and show you what we've done on our free-to-play account uh, when we play those matches later as well. So thank you for checking this out and stopping by. It's been a pleasure as always. Stop deep.